Hello, today you're going to be making um, a simple piece on Onshape that kind of encompasses all the beginning um, parts that we talked about that you need to know. So the first thing you're going to do is click Create, Document. We're going to call this uh, Practice, or you can call it Shape 1, whatever you want to call it. And from there, I'm going to start a sketch on the front plane, change my view so it's flat 2d view on my screen and I'm going to start by making a cube that is three so I clicked release click and I'm going to type in three press the enter button three enter button click the green check to finish the sketch and I'm going to extrude this and change it to three so I have a three by three by three cube currently I'm going to start another sketch on top and for this we're going to be using the dimension tool so I'm going to start by clicking a circle I want to click release click the mouse and type in I want this to be 2.5 and I'm going to click the dimension tool I want the outside or the top to the middle of the circle to be half of three is 1.5 and I want the inside of the circle to this right or left side to be 1.5 as well. So now my circle is in the middle. That's using the dimension tool. You can dimension any shapes as long as you're in the sketch. And I'm going to extrude that circle so that it is extruded out again 1.5. Next I'm going to start a sketch on this front face of my shape, click the line tool, click a line, click again. I want this, let's see, I want that shape to be, we'll type in one, enter. I'm going to click again, and I want that length to be one, enter. Come back down to the start, click, and it should reconnect back where we started. And I'm going to come up here. This is a new tool that using the equal constraint, I'm going to click the second, or actually the third line, click, and I'm going to click the first line, and it will change that third line to be the same as that first line, which is one. And now I want to make sure it's in the middle, so I'm going to use the dimension tool again, dimension it from this corner to this side, it needs to be one inch. And I'm going to dimension it from the bottom here so that it is one inch. It's not in the middle height wise, but it's close enough. We're going to click the green check to finish it. And for this one, we're going to extrude, click the triangle, and we want to remove and have it change from blind to through all. So you have a basic shape that was a cube that has a circle which we turned into a cylinder on top, then a triangle on the side that we extruded through. Once you get this done, please bring it up to me. Thank you for watching.